as the saying goes, charity starts at home. And the Okangudi Combined School was fortunate to receive the gesture from the former statesman and his wife. This village is where the former president was born and grew up. The school was established in 1982 with only a few learners, but today the number has grown to 739 learners, of which 95 of them are grade 10. Most of them are living in makeshift tents around the school vicinity that they themselves have erected to keep long distances they travel every day to and from school. The former statesman says the Namibian child is faced with multifaceted challenges and there is a need to help these future leaders to achieve their dreams and rid the country of poverty. Receiving the donation, education, arts and culture minister Katrina Hanse Himaro promised that her ministry will in aid a dining hall, a kitchen and also erect a fence around the school. She then called on other stakeholders to emulate the good example set by the former president and his family. Completely break poverty in this country is by educating ourselves, is by attending to school, and is by studying hard and get good marks so that we go to universities, become professional doctors, nurses, teachers, and whatever we want to become and coming back to Okangudi, like our president, and like our first lady, and invest. For NBC News, Pandurene Pembe, at Okangudi village in the Angwena region.